sliding at bed fast. to Malaysia from Indonesia, landing in Kuala Lumpur. So we're in Chinatown in Kuala Lumpur and I've got a bunch of baby tilapia just eating my feet. They're eating the dead skins. Now it's starting to be okay, but they used to tickle a lot when I first started. Look at them go! They're just eating all my dead skin. different activities to choose from, we decided to visit the Kuala Lumpur Bird Park. So the hornbill actually regurgitated something and has been trying to feed Cory. You gotta eat it with your mouth. I don't trust him anymore. <clears throat> now he might be mad that we didn't take his gift. Yeah. It's okay, bud. World's largest free flight walk in aviary area, which covers about 20 acres. There was a crazy pelican attacking every stroller that went by. A ginormous net surrounded us and birds could fly freely all over the place with different sections dividing different types of birds. We also had the opportunity to attend to a few different music shows. So in Chinatown there was actually a central platform area where there were free shows that were all kind of traditional type of music. And there was also another exciting one that we saw. The Petronas Twin Towers at 451 meters, 451.9 meters, used to be the biggest towers in the world. We left the city and headed into the Cameron Highlands, which is one of the highest parts of Malaysia at about 1800 meters high. Come on, buddy. I laugh if you get bit by a frog. <laughs> The Cameron Highlands offered a lot of different creatures, such as different types of centipedes and a three-horned rhinoceros beetle. Look how big he is! He's the size of my head! I'm gonna try to pick him up. <laughs> Ooh, he's strong! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there you go. Nice. Whoa. Holy my. It's very huge. strong. Quite the shell. Hello. We're in Tanahata, Cameron Highlands. And believe it or not, after 84, 83, 83. Two and a half months of traveling. It's the first time I'm actually gonna wear my sweater because it's cold. I just had shivers. We drank a few kapitari, which is a cold coffee. So as you can see, they just pour coffee back and forth from one mug to another, and this makes it all very frothy and delicious. No, nice lah. Merci.
in Malaysia, it's actually quite easy to hitchhike. Everybody's really friendly and uh, tend to stop when you wave your hand out. We love the city lifestyle, but being into the jungle, or I should say the cob forest, was a totally different type of excitement. We decided to do quite a few hikes around. Mount Brunschein, which is about 2032 meters above sea level and they had stunning views of the surrounding mountains. Check this out. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, well there's the different uh, palm trees. So make sure to comment down below if you have any questions about anything you've seen here and hit that like button. Also subscribe if you want to see our next episode where we head out to Thailand.